Greetings everyone, hope you're all keeping well out there, as I'm sure you all know by now, my name is Alex, and today we are checking this out, which is in fact a 360 HD wireless camera. Now we all know you can't stay in your home 24-7 to make sure it stays nice and secure. However, thanks to the advancement in technology, now you can keep an eye on things even if you are out and about with a simple swipe of your mobile phone or smart device. That's right, because thanks to this camera, not only can you monitor your home from pretty much wherever you are, but you can also see it in glorious high definition. So today we shall be trying out this little Wi-Fi IP camera and just going to see how good it really is. Starting off with the packaging then, well as you can see it's a pretty basic design in a simple cardboard box. But I must admit I do like this picture on the front stating that it is 360 because I find that would be very alluring to someone who is looking for a security camera. And then on the side here, you've got a few of the additional features that this camera has to offer you. So for example, we've got an alarm action, then of course we've got HD video format, it uses Wi-Fi, it, local storage can be with a TF memory card, but I know it does support cloud-based storage as well. It has a built-in microphone and speaker, and then a big thing that I really am looking forward to testing out is the infrared night vision that this has as well. Let's see what's inside then. So we open these like so, and we are greeted with a micro USB charging cable there. Then of course we've got a little booklet or manual of some sort. We've got some kind of mounting screws and wall plugs, and then of course an actual plastic mount for the camera there. Now what have we got here? Well, we've got some styrofoam, and then we finally come to the camera itself, and there's nothing else in here, so we can get rid of that. But wow, look at that camera. I mean, I've got to admit it actually looks quite professional. On the back here, you've got your Ethernet input in case you want to use this with a wired connection. And of course, you've got your charging input there as well. And finally, just on the front there, or should I say underneath on the actual camera, is the TF card reader there. Now, just to confirm, this is all plastic and it does feel fairly light. So it doesn't have a major high quality feel to it. But just from looking at it, I think it looks rather cool. So let's go through setting this up. So I've got my phone here, my trusty iPhone 7 Plus. Now I should be able to just scan this QR code and it will download the app. So here we go, open S360i in Safari. Yes, we will do that. Wow, so that really is very quick and simple to do. You literally just enter your email, request a verification code, which it then sends to your email. You enter that into the app create a password, and then there you go. As you can see, the app is now asking us to add the camera or device. So first of all, we're gonna turn on this camera. I'm gonna plug in the little micro USB cable. Now I'm gonna plug in an ethernet cable to set this up because unfortunately the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection in this studio is quite poor. Now let's just see if I put that straight into there, like so, and I'm gonna add a device now. So here we go, add device. Do you want wireless mode or wired mode? Well, we'll go for wired because I've just connected an ethernet cable. Tells you how to do that, which I already know. Connection complete, let's click next. And there you go, it has found it pretty much straight away. So I'm gonna click that, add the camera. Okay, just give me a little countdown. Name the device. Okay then, well, we'll come up with something quite original here. Let's say, McPhony test. And I put McPhony teeth. Now what is here, it says get a navigation picture. Note, do not move or block within the range of vision. So it looks like it's gonna do a bit of a 360 degree scan of the room. So let's try that then. I must admit that is fairly smooth and fairly quiet as well. I mean, if you were literally in a room watching TV, I doubt you would hear that, but in complete silence, you would pick up the motion moving around. But look at that, it is now scanning the room and showing all the pictures here in the app as it scans. Okay then, so there is my hand. So um, that's no good for you to see. Let's go up here. Wow. That is seriously responsive. I And there is my face. Why does my face always look so big and old on other cameras. But you know what, in terms of identifying someone, yep, again, you could easily identify that as me. Now it does look 
slightly overexposed in here, but it is, it's very bright in here, so that is perfectly understandable. Now, at the same time, I am noticing there is some kind of lag or delay. It's about a second behind, but again, I would expect something like that because it is transmitting HD video to my phone. I do like this at the bottom though. I mean, look at that. You can just click on the picture. So when it actually took a 360 degree snapshot, you can click anywhere on the picture and it will go automatically to that point. And this here looks like it goes into full screen mode as well. So let's just say you want a bit of a bigger picture to see what is going on. Let's get back up here. <laughs> there you go. So we've had a good mess around there with the camera here in the studio, but I think the most important thing to do now is to set this up somewhere else in my house. I'm gonna leave it for a couple of days and hopefully we'll have some interesting footage to look at, but most importantly, I'll be able to relay back to you any problems that I've discovered whilst using this camera. Okay, this is my room? Yes. Okay then, so here we are, the camera is set up in our living room on a bright and sunny afternoon. And straight away, yes, you can see what is going on. I mean, there is my five-year-old son. He is playing with his granddad with this expandable tent. But at the same time, you will clearly notice that the pixel quality, which is supposedly HD, is actually very pixelated. One thing, however, I am very impressed with is the quality of the image in night mode. I mean, this room is pretty dark. It does have one small side light on, but this camera has automatically gone into the night mode. It's shining its infrared lights, and it really does quite clearly illuminate everything. And you can clearly see there is me on the couch in pretty good detail. Now, this is the same room again, however, in complete darkness and if I just move the camera around here you will then see the infrared night vision kick in and you can clearly see the entire room has been illuminated by the bright infrared LEDs and you can clearly see everything in quite sharp detail. Now this is when we had a few guests around and I wanted to try the camera out and test its sound quality when there are lots of people in the room. Now the first thing you'll notice is that you can clearly hear the motor of the camera every time it is moved and unfortunately when a lot of people are talking it does become very distorted and you really can't hear exactly what they are saying. And finally, this is me trying to work out the range of the motion detection, which unfortunately I just could not work out. Because sometimes an alarm or message or even notification would be sent to my phone when I was approximately 13 feet away, but then sometimes it wouldn't work until I was 10 feet away, and sometimes it would not even work at all. So for using this as maybe an intruder device, I would say maybe to find something else that is slightly more reliable. So there we go, that was a quick overview and of course demonstration of this HD IP camera in action. And you know what? I was a little bit disappointed. By this I mean, although the camera looks and feels pretty damn smart, when it comes to the HD pixel quality that we were promised, I found it wasn't really a true HD experience, especially when the camera's moving around because the pixel quality became quite pixelated. But one thing I will say that this would work well as is a baby monitor because not only does it work very well in the middle of the night, but you can also soothe your child or baby without having to leave the comfort of your own bed because you've just got the two-way audio option on this camera, which again works pretty damn well. So overall, it's cheap and it's cheerful and technically it does do the job, especially with the two-way audio and of course night vision. But if you are looking for something that really does keep a close eye on your home with a true HD picture, then, well, I'm gonna have to say it, you may have to look and shop somewhere else. Now, as usual, before I go, if you've got any questions or comments you'd like to ask me about the HD Wi-Fi IP camera, then you know what to do. Put them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you the answer as quickly as possible. Not forgetting, if you enjoyed this video and you like tech, then please show your appreciation by giving this video a fantastic thumbs up and don't forget to hit me up on that classic subscribe button. But until next time, thank you once again for watching and I'll hopefully see you at some point very soon. Thank you.